Watch the scum! Finally, the Vintage Collection Electro Staff Purge Trooper is in my possession. This guy came out later than the other Gaming Greats Vintage Collection figures for whatever reason. I know it wasn't exclusive, whatever. I had to wait longer for this one and it was annoying. But here we are. I got him, and he's pretty cool. <laughs> I actually really like him. Uh, but I have some things to speak of about him. Um, he is just kind of, you know, a simple retool, but also he's got some other things going on, and I want to talk about those. So we'll do that. So let's set him off to the side and take a look first at his card back, because I feel like the card backs are always a part of the vintage collection experience. Um, I love the color. <laughs> I love the color choice. Just something about, like, you know, matching the color to, like, his actual lecture staff is so cool to me. Um, yeah. I'm really digging it. I like the picture, too. I still have not played Jedi Fallen Order. I don't have any console newer than an Xbox 360. So, it'll take a while. <laughs> I just... I'm not, a, I'm not a gamer. I'm just not. A lot of people are like, oh, what, you like video games? And, and no... No, I'm actually a young adult male that doesn't really play video games. Shocker, right? Yeah, you're just looking at the Gaming Greats logo for whatever reason. Um, I have reviewed all the other figures there if you want to check out the videos. Um, those were in Storm Central and he was in a droid district. Check it out, check it out. Celebrate iconic moments from the galaxy far, far away with figures inspired by Star Wars video games. Whoa! Yep, that's good. That's all good. We'll set that back there. There we go. Here it is. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. So, the Vintage Collection Electro Staff Purge Trooper. What's he like? Well, he's cool. He is a reuse of the Vintage Collection Clone Trooper mold that we have known since, like, 2011, I want to say. And I've had mixed opinions on this mold for years. I've always been like, oh, the helmets usually look too big, blah, 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 and all that. But this time around, um, I think the mold works great. Uh, one big reason is because they actually gave him a brand new head. Um, if you pop it off, you can see that uh, he does not have a removable helmet. So that means he does not have a giant oversized head, which is great. It's fantastic. Because a lot of the Phase 2 troopers, um, like one of, my little clone, uh, one of my little clone quickie videos, um, which, by the way, get your minds out of the gutter on the name of that, uh, <laughs> he... Uh, I have one of my most popular ones is the one about like the oversized helmets with the 41st Elite Landing Platform Troopers. Um, but thankfully with this one, because he doesn't have a removable helmet, um, you're all good. You know, he actually looks really nice. I like the sculpt too. Like this is the first airborne trooper helmet we've seen in three and three quarter inch since 2007. Um, speaking of that, let's bring in the old airborne clone trooper. So we can see here. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking we might see a new airborne with this new mold. I'm thinking it's going to happen eventually, I hope. I just think that'd be really cool. I mean, give me all give me all the clone troopers I can get, man. I already have like 6 of this old airborne or maybe 8. I don't know, I have a lot of it. Um <laughs> but man, give me give me more. I'll definitely take more. I just I look it looks really good in the black, man. It just really does. I like the white striping, the red imperial logo. Um it's just really nice. I mean, the fabric, the soft goods are actually really good on this. I like the pauldron. Get back in focus, buddy. There we go. And yeah, looking at the uh, old one, you can see the helmet difference. Like, the size is noticeable because, I mean, this one has to be removable. But this one has a way more accurate shape to the helmet because it's actually kind of more flat. And it always kind of, you know, made me feel weird because, like, I have the Sideshow Airborne Trooper, and that helmet's flat, too. But I'm just so used to this big old helmet that's supposed to fit a head. You know, there's a head under here. <laughs> you know? So I'm kind of like, oh, I'm, I forgot they're actually supposed to be kind of flat and oddly shaped like that. But yeah, man, I'm, I'm really happy with the sculpt on this new one. I think it looks really good. And then his accessory is the Electro Staff. And uh, this is the only accessory he gets. Now, granted, his hands are made for holding blasters and not electro staffs, but he actually holds it pretty well. Like his hand kind of pops in and out. Like it actually, he actually holds it and has a good grip. And this electro staff is so much better than the Black Series one um, because number one, these actual bits are removable. If we'll get back in focus, come on. What are we doing? It's because he's all black. That's why. Come on, what are we doing? There we go. Yeah, these are actually removable. They come removed in the package. And with these, the actual effect, 
like they sort of have little slots they have points where they can kind of lock in like you can see like right there how the plastic kind of collides with itself so it's not just going to fall off that is amazing the effect parts actually stay on the staff oh my gosh that's great you know what doesn't do that the black series one uh <laughs> yeah so let's just bring this comparison in and one thing too the black series one also doesn't have like you know staff holding hands and his his staff is so much thicker like the handle is super thick and he just does not like holding it seriously um and also i just had to use double-sided tape to keep these effects on because otherwise they just wouldn't they just fell off all of the time uh so definitely staff wise the vintage collection one is a trillion bajillion gajillion times better um head sculpt wise Man, the Black Series helmet is really nice. I think both of them have really nice helmets, honestly. They look very similar. You know, I, I can't really pick between the helmets. I think they both look really good. If I'd have to pick one, I'd say I prefer the 6-inch one just ever so slightly for some reason I can't even really pinpoint. But, yeah, I mean, other than that, I mean, they're fairly identical. Uh, I do feel like his Imperial logo is a little off-kilter. You can kind of see... I just feel like it's ever so slightly off kilter, but it's all good. It's it's no biggie. It's all good. So, um, I mean, we've known this mold for years, so we know the articulation. He does have the new head. We'll just take his staff out of his hand so we can actually move him. He does have the new head, so we need to talk about that. Um, you do have a ball joint, but just because of the helmet shape and the pauldron, it does kind of act more of like, you know, a flexible swivel, I'd say. Like, it's a swivel, you can sort of tilt. You know, it's it's a helmet. It's it's nothing super crazy. It's not a on a dumbbell joint, so it's not going to go, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's, it, it's good. It's serviceable. It's perfectly fine. And then we all know the rest of the articulation on this mold. It's got the up and down. It's got the in and out here. He's got the in and out here. There we go. Actually, more like just an in. doesn't really have any out. Then the hips, the knees, the ankles. One thing I do have an issue with, he's got that stamp right there. A little bit of acetone nail polish remover. Whoop, all gone. Uh, so I'll probably just end up doing that. He does have a new belt. that has like the straps that sort of like end at a certain point. Because they're supposed to be connected to the actual skirt. But obviously they're not because the skirt's fabric. Um, thankfully the skirt doesn't have like the little like trailing on it. Because this stuff on the Black Series one just rubs off with ease. Like, that just takes no effort to get all that rubbed off. Like, you can see how much of it's gone already. So that's not really a detail I miss on this one. It really isn't. Because it didn't even stay on. So, yeah, I'm not really going to complain. But, yeah, man, you can get a lot of good poses out of them. I'm genuinely really happy with this. Uh, so I do have one issue, though. You know, and I had this issue with the uh, the Black Series ones, too. Like, should I display this with my Imperials or with my Clone Troopers? Because, you know, technically in the video game, they, they have Clone Trooper armor, right? But they are not Clone Troopers at that point. They are just normal soldiers wearing Clone Trooper armor. But in the, like, the Darth Vader comics, they are Clone Troopers. They're like one of the last generations of Clone Troopers. Here, let's see if we can get him standing. Come on, stand. That's a really cool pose. Do it. Stand. There we go. Hell yeah. So yeah, in the uh, in the comics of the last generation of clone troopers. So I was thinking, like, should I display this guy with my Imperials or with my clone troopers? And I decided, you know what? Best way to do that, just buy two of them. <laughs> Have one with the Imperials and one with the clones. Problem solved. Besides, I can give the other one a rifle, maybe. I can give the Electro Staff to somebody else. I, I figured, why not? <laughs> Why not? It's only money. I'll just get two of them and problem solved. And also it'd be kind of cool to have two of these. Because three and a quarter inch is my jam. I'm one and done with the Black Series clones and Black Series troopers and, and you know, any anything non-three and a quarter inch. One and done. But with this, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll double dip. <laughs> I'll double dip. <sighs> Alrighty. I really love this figure, man. It's really good. It actually exceeded my expectations. He can hold the staff well. The effect parts stay on the staff. He has really nice posability. I mean, 
I really don't have much else I could really ask for out of this figure. Um, better wrist articulation, probably. Maybe they could have given him new hands. Um, I mean, I still would like to see them upgrade this mold a little bit. Because I do feel like, you know, it has some issues. But they definitely took this, uh, took it in the right direction with giving him a whole new helmet head. Instead of just, you know, giving him a helmet on that weird, um, like, I always forget the actor's name. The clone isn't actually Tamora Morrison. I always forget his name. I can never remember the actor's name. I'm sure people will post in the comments. Feel free. I will have already known by now. I will have looked it up. And I would. Ar I already know. But if you feel like posting it in the comments, feel free. It's all good. I'll already know. It's fine. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Shout out to the patrons of Patreon. You guys are awesome. Thank you all so much. Um, I genuinely appreciate it. I genuinely really do. Alrighty, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.